All right, guys, so we're going to do a little unboxing video for you today. This is a Smith & Wesson double action revolver, as you can see from the top of the box. Um, older model, not um, one that you'd see today. The, ones, uh, the modern ones today come with the blue plastic box. This is an older one with the blue cardboard box. And I just kind of wanted to let you see uh, what it would look like. This is a new in-box revolver. It's uh, new old stock, never been fired. Um, and this is how they came back in, this gun was made in 1990. So let's take a look. You open the box up, there's my paperwork. And inside the box is another cardboard box holding the gun. We'll move this to the side for now. Inside you get your Smith & Wesson revolver book. Um, it's just a basic instruction manual. Uh, you get a little package with the authorized service stations all over the country. and. Um, you have the warranty card. So this one, as you can see, has never been uh, filled out or sent in, of course. Uh, it has the date on it, uh, January 18th, 1990. So this gun is 23 years old. And this is something that the uh, newer guns don't come with anymore. Um, it's kind of interesting. They used to give you a cleaning kit with your revolver. It comes with a small uh, cleaning rod, a brass brush, uh, a uh, bore brush and a little screwdriver for the uh, rear sight screws. So that's what came with the box itself. Uh, we'll move this to the side. And inside the box came this inner cardboard box. And you kind of open it up. And there's the Smith & Wesson wax paper and inside is your prize. It's the uh, revolver itself. Um, this is a model 29 from Smith & Wesson, the, the sister model to the model 629. The 629s were made out of stainless steel. The 29s are made out of blue carbon steel. So this particular revolver comes with the seven and a half inch barrel, which is kind of uh, not unique for a Smith & Wesson, but uh, kind of different, uh, an odd, more of an odd barrel length. Usually Smiths come in four inch barrels, five inch, six and a half, and eight and three eighths. And this one came with the seven and a half inch barrel, which kind of drew it to me. Um, another somewhat unique factor about this revolver is that it has the um, unfluted cylinder. So the cylinders don't have the, the flutes cut in it, which is another kind of interesting thing. This is one of the first revolvers to come with a full underlug barrel, as you can see. Um, there's no key lock in this revolver, it was made in 1990, that was before the key locks. It also has the forged uh, trigger and hammer. I'll do the safety check, you can see that it's clear. And also, as you can see, this revolver has the uh, firing pin on the hammer. So it has all the, all the neat features of the older Smith & Wessons. Um, this is the 29-5. But probably the neatest, most interesting thing about this particular revolver is that it is common knowledge that Smith & Wesson um, stopped with the pinned barrel and recessed cylinders in 1982. Um, most feel that was a cost-cutting measure. Um, the barrels, instead of being crushed fit, used to be um, screwed into the frame and then there was a small pin right about there that would come through to lock the barrel in place. And the cylinder recesses would um, encase the uh, rim of the cartridge in the cylinder. Uh, the, the more modern Smith & Wessons, the cartridge itself actually sticks out just beyond the cylinder by the width of the rim. But this revolver, made in 1990, you'll notice, in fact, has the recessed cylinder chambers. Uh, these were made for a very small distributor. There were only, I believe, 500 of these produced. And as you can see, when you put the cartridge in, it sits flush with the back of the cylinder. Whereas on a modern gun, there is no recess on the cylinder. So kind of a neat little history lesson, I suppose, for, for Smith & Wesson aficionados. The uh, recessed cylinder chambers did not end in 1982. In fact, they ended in 1990 with this uh, special order gun. So this is the 29. The 
actual name of this revolver, if you will, is the Classic Magnum II. You can see on the barrel, back uh, in 1990 there were no um, laser engraved or laser etched markings. Everything was roll marked. So you probably can't see it very well, but it does say Classic, classic Magnum II. On the other side it says Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum roll marked into the barrel. Uh, it has a grooved back strap, which is also a square butt, which is not done anymore. They're all round butted now, so they, there's kind of a contour to the grip frame. But this has really nice bluing on it, um, a nice crisp clean action, and what really drew me to this revolver was the recessed chambers. I think that's really neat um, and somewhat of a little known fact that in fact Smith & Wesson was recessing cylinders all the way into the 1990s. So here it is, the Smith & Wesson Classic Magnum II, um, new in box, never been fired, um, and that's what they look like. So until next time, thanks for watching.